continuing our character animation us in uh, computer animation and what we want to get into next here is adding the body to our character and adding arm graphics and using the bone tool to kind of animate those arm graphics so let's just test play this really quick to see where we left off you can see I have a character blinking and mouth is synced to him exclaiming woohoo over the slice of pizza he's about to devour. So um, what we want to do is go through and um, take all of our graphics actually and we are going to take all these graphics we're going to create a folder here. Um, this folder we're going to call this the face folder and we're just going to move some graphics into this folder and so if you see if I drag up see how that point changes there that means that's inside that folder. So I'm just dragging these up into the folder there, um, the head graphic as well, and it just kind of cleans up the look here. I have to make sure the head is at the bottom of that, um, those layers, um, but that just kind of simplifies our, um, our layers and our timeline a little bit here. So what we'll do next is add a new layer, and this will be for the body. I may not, I may not be able to actually call this body Oh, no, but once I draw it, I'll have to name it something else because I already was working in this one and drew a different body. But, so what I want to do for the body is actually draw it using the pencil tool. Um, so what I'll do is um, I have pencil as black. I'm going to draw a neck that kind of comes down, out, and then closes back up. I'm using a two for the line weight here. I think that that looks pretty good for what I am actually doing. And then I'm gonna take the um, pencil as well and I'm gonna draw the torso, but without any arms. And I'm gonna have the waist kind of happen just before the edge of the frame there. So kind of just like this rectangular um, shape. And we're actually gonna get rid of the outlines later, but just for the sake of drawing the shape and then having the editability that we get with the pencil tool. Um, I'm going to keep this for right now. I'm just going to slim them down a little bit there. Cool. Alright, so that works pretty good. Um, again, we're leaving out the arms for now. Um, I do want to go back to my pencil tool and I will add um, just the bottom part. We'll just say his legs are going off the frame for right now. Um, what I do want to do is now fill these in. I'm going to use my eyedropper and I'm going to click on the face here and then click in to make sure that skin tone matches. Um, now for the shirt color, um, let's see, I'll give them like maybe a teal blue shirt, something like that. Um, and then also give him a different color for his slacks. Um, let's see, so maybe I don't know. We'll give him some green slacks just for fun. Um, anyways, so feel free to use whatever colors that you wish to use. Um, no reason to do the same ones that I have. So um, I'm going to go ahead and take this body that I just drew and hit F8. And we're going to call this a movie clip. I'm going to call it body. I'm going to just call it body one because... Oops, I already did body once. This is body two for me. But you can just call yours body. Um, and then that will be all set for us to do our bone tooling too because we need to have a movie clip in order to use the bone tool. Um, for the next parts, I'm going to actually use our rectangle tool. It's going to make things just a little bit easier. I'm going to go ahead and select no stroke color because I don't want any outlines. And for my fill color, I'm going to click on the shirt color so that I get the same color as the shirt here. Now I'm going to use just really simple uh, rectangular shapes Oops, for the arms, but what I did not do is add new layers. I need to add two new layers. One is going to be called R up arm and then one is going to be called R low arm. Okay, so on the up, our up arm is the upper arm attached to the shoulder here and still with my rectangle tool I will add in this kind of a rectangle here for my upper arm and then go to my lower arm and now I'm going to draw another rectangle about the same size um, and that will be my 
lower arm. I do also want to add a hand at the end, um, and I can do this. I want to make sure I'm on my lower arm. I can do this with the pencil tool, um, and I can also take my eyedropper again and, oops, and use that to match it to the skin tone. Um, anyways, though, uh, pencil tool here um, on the lower arm graphic and again just creating a simple kind of circle for our hands I'm not going to get too crazy into the details of things like hands for this particular animation um, so that will do for now all right so we're going to take this R up arm and we're going to hit F8 on our keyboard and we're going to call this the same thing R up arm and a movie clip, right? So again, now we'll take, we'll just click on the frame of our lower arm. That'll give us everything we have on that layer. I'm gonna hit F8 and we're gonna call this our low arm movie clip, right? Key that they're movie clips um, because uh, we're gonna be using our bone tool, okay? So now what I can do is I can actually take and reuse these um, we will have to break them apart and then rename them, but I'm going to add two new layers. We're going to call this L up arm and then another one here that is L low arm. Okay, so as I said, we're going to take this up arm, our up arm, hit command C, go to L up arm and hit command V. And now I'm just going to take and move this to the other side here. I'm going to click on my R low arm, hit command C, and then go to L low arm and hit command V. Okay, so we can kind of use these um, same graphics again, keeping them super simple for right now. Um, and just for demonstration's sake. So, but as I said, what we will need to do is break these apart and then make them in new graphics. Um, it won't work with our animation. Um, to probably keep these as the same actually because um, if we want to edit them at all it's going to make changes to both of them and maybe we want to make changes that are unique to them so I'm just going to hit command B to break this shape apart and then I'm going to go ahead and hit F8 again and I want to make sure I call this L up arm and hit enter and then this one I'm going to hit command B again and then go ahead and right away hit F8 and then I'm going to call this L low arm and as a movie clip and so now these are in their own graphics okay um, I will go ahead and edit this graphic here too to make it kind of match with the arms I'm going to delete the outlines um, of the shirt I'll keep the neckline in there and the one around the pants but um, just for the sake of doing a kind of quicker tutorial here um, we're gonna keep the outlines out because they can get in the way as we kind of move our graphic around so as you can see now we do have a lot of layers and that's why we collapsed the face um, part into a folder there okay um, but all those pieces are still there if you want to get to them and you can just click on the folder too to kind of move this around all at once which is kind of a, a nice handy thing to be able to do anyways now that we have all these pieces created all of our body parts created okay um, <laughs> And our guy is saying woohoo. We now need to make these arms move. We need to give them some action. And how we're going to do that is with the bone tool. So I'm going to click on the bone tool. And what I'm going to start by doing is clicking right around um, the center part here of his chest, kind of underneath the neck. And then clicking and dragging until that takes me to this, um, this graphic on the side here. And then again, I'm going to go to the next graphic. This doesn't quite look how I expected it to so I would not be surprised if there was an issue with how these are linking together all right but let's see um, what happens when I try and move this cool okay so it works all right um, you will notice we do have some things we may want to patch up with the um, the way that these arm graphics are shaped but um, not too hard to do so um, what you will probably remember um, from our previous project using the bone tool is once you make an armature, your other graphic layers are no longer necessary. So I do want to go ahead here. I am going to go to um, 
and I'm actually just going to delete these layers now. It's just going to make this a little bit easier to look at. So the L arm, the R, and the R arm uh, layers can all be got, uh, trashed, as well as the body layer. All those pieces are still here because they're all part of this armature layer that we now have. Okay, I'm going to go ahead to 40 frames or so, and then I'm going to hit F5 so I can open up those frames of animation. You notice your face disappears because inside your face um, folder, you do not have 40 frames of animation. So we're just going to go ahead and click and drag that 40, and then hit F5 to keep your face in the same amount of frames. Anyway, so what I may want to do to our... Um, graphics here is as we go I may find that there's places where um, they need to be edited and where I may want to make them um, extend a little bit more okay so I want to make this guy have kind of like a just a, a general uh, set a uh, position to go with for his first frame here that's acting a little bit funny on me but I and get it in the right place. All right, so um, what I may do is once I get this into kind of a, a good resting position here, and again, um, taking this and bringing that down to kind of a resting position. Okay, so like I was saying, I'm going to edit these graphics just slightly. Okay, so I'm going to go in here. And in this graphic, I'm going to double click on it. Oh, what is happening here? I want to be. Hmm, I don't know why it, it made it into one of those. It doesn't seem to want to let me edit these graphics. Oh, there we go. Okay, so lower arm, it will let me edit this one. Um, so I'm just going to take this shape and I'm just going to bend it a little bit. See to kind of cover that gap right there. So now, okay, it looks like it'll, yeah, there we go. That's more what I wanted it to look like. Um, and I'm going to take this shape as well. Oops, not move the whole thing. But I'm going to, again, take the top of this and just kind of curve it so that it curves up to attach to his shoulder. And that should make it so that those parts are blended together and they will work um, more throughout the animation. So again, double clicking here, I got to click off the side so it's not highlighted if I want to manipulate this shape. And there we go. So now that looks pretty good. Um, may need to make some changes as I go, but that looks pretty good for right now. Um, so I'll go ahead to five frames or so. I'm going to take my selection arrow and I'm going to move this arm so that it extends upwards, right? Because he's going woohoo. So I'm going to take this arm as well and extend it upwards. And you'll see that um, your bone tool will take and connect, make those points happen in between there. Um, so what I may do as well is go ahead five more frames. Um, maybe I'll make his arm bend a little bit more. And again, you'll see this little spot here where I may want to make some changes to this graphic as well. So I'm going to double click on it and, um, and just go ahead and bend that line so it curves and kind of closes that little gap there. So that looks a little bit better. Um, so his arms go up, they come down, and then I'm going to make them go up again one more time. Really high, full extension. It's good. All right, so um, arms go all the way up, and then maybe at 20 or so, I could bring them back down to kind of the resting pose that he originally kind of started at. All right, so there we go. Oh, he started getting away from me there. Bring this elbow in. Maybe hand out a little bit. Awesome. So. Uh, that should do it. I mean, anything else you want to do with your character's pose, you feel free to do. Um, but as you can see, my character is celebrating, victorious, about to get into some pizza. Um, so that's about it for um, this particular animation lesson assignment. And um, I hope you have lots of luck with yours. And 
have some fun with it.